Hello, my name is Alex from Zico Tech, and I'd like to congratulate you on your purchase of our coolest trailblazing software, Zcode Sports Trader. In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a detailed overview and explanation of all of its important features and latest updates. And just so you know, Sports Trader 2.0 is the latest version of our powerhouse app that provides you with fully automated sports picks and predictions all of which generated more than $5 million over the past three years. The Sports Trader 2.0 is the very latest in cutting edge sports betting technology and it will assist you to bet and trade sports on complete autopilot without any need to analyze those sports or even know anything about it at all. No matter whether you live and breed sports or even if you're least interested in it, there is serious money to be made here in sports investing. And our latest sports Twitter app is the tool you need to start making profits in this betting industry. In case you didn't know, Sports Trader is our very own in-house software that was developed by our Z Lab team with the focus on having to make sports betting easy and convenient for our members and profitable as well. Over the years, our Z Lab development team has been hard at work to modify and improve this Sports Trader app just for you and all their hard work has culminated in the improvements present in this latest version that's Sports Trader 2.0. This app is especially great for newbies to sports betting as well as for the more experienced like the advanced sports betting experts we have on board Zcode. And it has massive profit making potential. Like I said earlier, the best part is you don't really need to know much about sports at all. Now, the best way to understand Sports Trader is to think of it as a sports system aggregator and signal generator. We have 250 plus systems and more than 5,000 trends made available to you through Sports Trader. And the pick selection process is entirely automated, so you don't even need to know anything about the systems or sports you're betting on. The app makes it so much more convenient for you to keep track of your favorite profitable systems and trends and it will alert you whenever a new bet signal or pick is generated. So all you need to do is click your mouse a few times, choose the sports and trends you prefer and simply place the suggested bets at our recommended bookings. And that's about it. Just 5 to 10 minutes per day and it doesn't get any easier than that. And besides being user friendly, the software is also fully transparent. So you can not only see the past performance of your chosen systems and trends, but you can even develop your own systems if you're up for it. Now, if you haven't yet installed Sports Trader, I'd recommend that you watch the previous introductory video tutorial that'll guide you through the installation process of Sports Trader 2.0. Sports Trader is also available as a web app inside our Z Code VIP Club members area, which can run on your browser or even on your mobile phone and tablet too. You can easily access the web version of Sports Trader through the members area. Just look for Sports Trader under the Z Lab menu option. And if you face any issues or have any queries about Sports Trader, you're welcome to email us at our tech department here at techsupport at zcodesystem.com. All right, then, let's get started. The first thing you got to do is double click the Sports Trader icon on your desktop to load it up and run the software. You will have to log in to Sports Trader with your Zico login details if it's the first time that you're running the software. And once you've logged in with your Zico credentials, you'll see the screen in front of you. Now at first glance, what you'll notice is that our Sports Trader software is divided into four sections on the left. Okay, you have the portfolio section over here with the portfolio advisor and analyzer here at the top. Then you have the sports selector, systems and trends selectors here below. And of course we have these performance graphs on the right, as well as this entire signal section here right below the charts. And last but not least, we also have this bankroll calculator towards the left, just below the trends list. <clears throat> By the way, for those of you who remember how the first version looked, we had the Portfolio Advisor and Analyzer buttons down here earlier, but in Sports Trader 2.0, we decided to move them right to the top to make it easier for you to access these important tools. 
Now below the bankroll calculator you will see this section which is dedicated to news updates across most of the popular sports so that you can easily check in what's latest in the sports world. Now one really important thing I'd like to point out to you is this menu bar here at the top right of Sportsphere. Okay? Uh, these many options allow you to access various spots of our Z Code VIP club now that you're a member of course and this is a really convenient way for you to reach the important sections within the Z Code members area so even if you were to feel lost at any point in time you can easily find your way back to the Z Code club through this menu now before we go any further if you don't have a bookie account yet then the next thing you must do is open betting accounts at our recommended bookies. Some of the bookies we recommend are Bet365, Five Dimes, which is great for American sports, Pinnacle, and more recently, 1xBet as well. Just click this link over here, which will take you straight to our bookmakers page, and you will see a list of our best recommended bookies. Amongst all of these, Five Dimes and Bookmaker EU are great for US members especially, while Bet365, Triple Eight, Sport, and Pinnacle are great for non-US members. We'd also recommend you to check out 1xBet, which works great for our sports trader and ZLive betting picks as well. So click any of these links to create your own accounts, and once you have accounts at at least two or three of these bookies, then you're all set to go. All right, so assuming you have your bookie accounts up and running, let's get back to sports here. So now, let's take a detailed look at the main sections of Sportsphere one by one. First, right here at the top left, we have the portfolio section. And this is the portfolio drop-down that shows you the name of the current portfolio that's been loaded as well as any other portfolios that you may have created and saved yourself. In the context of sports betting, a portfolio is simply a set of systems and trends that have been selected specifically with the goal of making profits by betting on your preferred or favorite sports. Now, All the functions and tools you need in order to create your own portfolio and to maintain them have been provided to you here. We also have the portfolio advisor and analyzer right here at the top. These tools are quite important and we'll take a deeper look at them in the next tutorial. But for now, let's just move on to the rest of the portfolio options we have here. Now you have the usual functions like create a new portfolio, you rename it, or save the portfolio, and you can also delete any of these portfolios with this delete icon here next to the portfolio name. Besides that, we also have this little information icon which gives you a quick summary of all the systems and trends that have been selected for this portfolio. And besides the information icon, we also have this new notification option here, which I will explain in detail shortly. All right, coming back here to the portfolio dropdown. When you click this dropdown, you'll notice another new feature which has been added here, which is the expert portfolios list a dynamic list of the top five most profitable expert portfolios. The top expert portfolios here are chosen based on criteria such as the portfolio profit, that is the net profit of all of its trends over the past three months should be more than a thousand dollars and other criteria as well. Now our system looks through all the existing portfolios created by various experts, not just the experts that you follow, and then it chooses the top five for the day. Since this list is dynamic, it can change on a daily basis, so you could see a different set of expert portfolios the very next day. Now remember, these are portfolios that have been created and tested by our community experts, and you can easily benefit from their experience by simply clicking on any of these expert portfolios. Now when you do so, all of its systems and trends will be transferred to this current portfolio of yours, and even the name of the portfolio will be modified based on the expert's portfolio name. And that change will be indicated by this asterisk here at the end. Uh, so what you can do is you can modify this portfolio name, right? And we're just going to name this, say, Expert Portfolio 1. And then save it by clicking the Save button here. Now, let's get down to the process of actually creating a portfolio. 
I want to demonstrate to you how to manually create and develop your own portfolio and to follow the general flow of portfolio creation from top to bottom like this. But before we do that, first and foremost, what I would really like you to do is to learn to develop the mindset of a professional sports investor. You see, real sports investors don't just bet for fun. They treat this as their livelihood. So keep that in mind. I want you to view sports career not just as a toy that you can play around with, but an actual professional sports betting software with which you will have a significant advantage over others, especially with the arsenal of data and stats that sports traders number crunching power delivers to you at the tip of your fingers. It might take a bit of time to get acquainted with how our systems work here at Zcode, but thankfully, sports trader has been designed to be very user friendly, even for newbies. And once you get used to this process of creating and fine tuning portfolios on your own, you'll be slicing and dicing through various systems and trends like a sports betting ninja. So treat this with a serious professional sports betting approach, but don't forget to have fun with it as well, because that's where our Zico community is all about too. And you will see this attitude not only from our experts on the wall, but also from all the other members, and that's what our forums are for as well. Now, to kickstart the portfolio creation process, let's first start with a blank portfolio. Okay. In fact, when you run Sportsphere for the very first time, your interface should look blank like this. So I'd also recommend that you save this blank portfolio as a separate template so that you can return to it whenever you feel the need to start creating a new portfolio right from scratch. So to save it, all you have to do is just click this new portfolio button and I'm going to save that as blank portfolio and since I already have a portfolio with the same name it will overwrite that portfolio okay this is just to start off with a blank portfolio and nothing else alright now next what I would recommend is to quickly use the portfolio advisor to start with a simple portfolio at first and then we can build upon that by selecting and adding more systems and trends to the portfolio the Portfolio Advisor will make life easier for you by helping you to build your own portfolios with just the click of a few buttons, but I'm not going to go into detail with the tool right now. We will thoroughly cover the Portfolio Advisor and the Analyzer in the next tutorial instead because they need to be explained in detail and we're already covering quite a lot in this tutorial alone. For now, suffice to say I'm going to simply go with uh, most of the Advisor's default settings here. Okay. Well, with the very first one, what I'm going to say is the sport doesn't matter to me, so all I care about is the profit. I don't care which sports I'm going to be betting on. All right, and then uh, we'll use the standard profit expectations and risk tolerance, regular frequency of bets. If you want to be more aggressive, and if you want to, you know, say for example, if you don't mind betting on more. Uh, picks and selections in a day you could choose to be more aggressive and also say choose maximum frequency of bets and when it comes down to the timing of the picks say uh, which talks about how flexible you are in terms of placing bets uh, let's say I'm very flexible and then you click my recommended portfolio here and then you'll see the advisors system trend recommendations in this table then come down here to the bankroll calculator and simply adjust the stake size that you're comfortable with. All right? So uh, let's say if I don't have a very huge bankroll and I would want to obviously edit this value. So I'm going to choose to, let's say, for example, start with only $5 per unit for each of my stakes. Right? And that brings down the bankroll to a manageable size. And right below that, you'll see the potential profit chart of this entire selected portfolio with all these various trends. So now that the advisor has quickly selected these trends for me, I'm going to apply it to this current portfolio. And voila! We have ourselves a simple portfolio with 10 of the best system trends across all the various active sports that are currently available for you to bet on. Now that we've created this quick and dirty portfolio, let's go ahead and save the portfolio first. You'll notice this star here, which indicates that the portfolio has been modified. 
So let's go ahead and save this new portfolio with a different name. I'm going to call it Portfolio 1 and then save the portfolio by clicking the Save button. And that does it. Now, one very important point that I must mention here is that Sports Trader will only save changes to a portfolio if and only if there has been a modification or change made to the list of trends in this portfolio. The reason is because, as you know, Sports Trader gives you access to more than 5,000 plus trends and each of those trends comes heavily loaded with not only the trend rules and performance results but also highly detailed statistics about the system that spans across all the historical data available. As you can imagine, this can get heavy on the app's resources if you load up too many trends unnecessarily. And this is also why we do not recommend selecting all the trends available as it would slow down the app. For example, I have a portfolio here with all the possible trends available within Sports Trader and it was created only for testing purposes, but I'm not going to click that right now because it would take forever just to load up. So be careful about that. In any case, practically speaking, you cannot possibly follow all the trend signals that we have to offer unless you have a huge bankroll that's significantly large enough to handle all the sheer number of daily bets as well as the possible drawdowns that you'll have to face along the way. So remember, to keep things simple, Sports Trader will only save changes to your portfolio if and only if it detects a modification to a list of the trends in this portfolio. Now, as you may be aware, Sports Trader will alert you whenever a new signal or a pick selection has been generated by any of the systems you've selected. A new signal notification will sound like a cash register alert within Sports Trader and you'll even see a notification pop up at the bottom left of your screen, like this. And to help you with setting your alerts, another new feature that's been added in Sports Trader 2.0 is this browser and mobile push notification option. When you click this bell icon, it'll give you a pop-up with these options that allow you to change the kind of signal push notifications that you can receive either via your browser or even directly to your cell phone as well. These very same options can be found within your profile at the top right of your members area screen here within my profile and they are also available to you via our Z code apps on both Android and iPhone as well. I'll soon show you how to configure your cell phone for notifications too. First, let's configure our browser notifications by clicking this link here. Now these options will alert you to new pick signals within Sportsphere, whether it's the Sportsphere software or even the web app and even if you're logged into any other part of our Zcode VIP club. And with these new options, our ZLab team has added the ability for you to receive push notifications from not only all the trends in your Sports Trader portfolios, but also for specific portfolios if you wish. All right, so let's take a look at this. We have, I wanna receive line reversals. That's for if you're running the line reversal app. You have expert watch journal comments, that's if you want to receive notifications for certain uh, experts that you've subscribed to. Uh, I want to receive browser push notifications, now this is what's important for sports traders specifically. Um, I want to receive browser push notifications from all the trends in sports tra trader portfolios. Now, if this were to be selected, then you will receive notifications for all the possible trends across all the portfolios that you have saved inside of Sports Trader, right? Whereas if you'd rather want to receive notifications only from specific portfolios, then what you'd need to do is uncheck this option, okay? And then you'll be presented with this option instead, where you'll have your portfolios listed out for you, okay? And then you can choose any one of these options that you'd want to receive notifications from. And since we just created Portfolio 1, I'm going to select that. Okay, so like I said, with our earlier version, you could receive notifications for all the systems across all the portfolios. But now you can set push notifications only for specific portfolios or even for a combination of systems and trends that only you are interested in. Alright, so 
if you were to go down further here you'll find a full list of the various trends that are available to you across Z code and this isn't just limited to uh, sports career alone this is available to you even across our other Z code apps like the line reversal app as well and of course uh, depending on the, the trends that have been selected for you by a portfolio advisor those have automatically been selected here as well they've been checked here which means that you will receive notifications from these specific trends and uh, there's another thing you can also individually select trends that are not included in the current portfolio running within sports trader okay so this gives you a great deal of flexibility to receive notifications from any system or trend you're interested in not just the ones that have been selected for you in your portfolio so in a way you can say our notification system kind of runs independently and is shared across all of our Z code apps besides sports reader, such as the line reversals tool as well all right so let's say you know if you're interested in more systems let's say for example Eddie's US basketball system trends and I'm just going to randomly choose some of these trends right just for now and once you've selected all the trends you're interested in scroll down right to the bottom and don't forget to click the save settings button once that's done you will receive notifications within your browser both as a sound alert and even as a pop-up with details about the signals pick selections all right so now that we've configured the browser notifications let's take a look at the mobile push notifications as well now one of the first things you'll need to do is to register your device to receive push notifications directly to your cell phone or mobile device like a tablet the easiest way to do this on Android is to install our Z code app from the Google Play Store and log in on your mobile as you can see here I already have this app installed on my phone so let's go ahead and open this up and this is what it looks like you'll see you have access to other features like the line reversals tool and even full access to the Z code wall from here but right now what I'm interested in is the settings so let's click that now the first time you open this app you will need to log into your Z code account of course I've already done that so if you see here you'll notice I have the very same push notification options that we saw earlier so let's modify some of these settings alright just for the heck of it let's say I want to receive ZLive bot signals let's look for Eddie's systems also Ruben's systems Tan system trends as well Right, and uh, just like how we did it with the browser push notifications once you're done with selecting the various uh, trends that you want just make sure that you click save settings here at the bottom now let's go back to the mobile notification settings inside of uh, sports here since I've used the app and its settings at least once my cell phone has now been registered successfully and you will see it listed here under my devices if you'd like to test the notification feature just click test message here and wait until you receive the notification on your phone once you do so you'll know that you're ready to receive signals directly to your mobile device so as you can see here it's very easy to configure on Android um, however for iPhone at this time the notification settings are not directly available within our Apple iOS app but it can be configured using the web version of the mobile settings which is exactly what I showed you earlier that's just by clicking this mobile push notification settings inside of your iPhone you'll be taken straight to this page so now you're all set to receive our push notifications directly to your cell phone or mobile device and that goes for signals from all your favorite systems and trends that you selected within these settings alright now that we've covered the portfolio section and the notification settings in detail let's move on to the remaining sections within sports trader we have the selector sections here on the left right starting with the sports selector that allows you to choose the various sports that you're interested in or if you have no preference for any particular sport you could select all of them 
so that you can maximize your profits and the number of system signals that you can receive across all these sports even if you're not really particular about which sport to bet on so I'm just gonna go ahead and click these sports here then we have the systems and trends selectors here and how this works is each automated system that is available to you has several profitable trends under it that can be applied to multiple sports so a trend is like a variation or a subset of a sports betting system that generates profitable picks based on specific rules and settings that are applicable to various sports specifically chosen for the system and remember I mentioned earlier Sports Trader gives you access to more than 250 plus systems all of which are listed here within the system selector and under each of these systems and under all these systems combined you will have a whopping 5000 plus trends so what you must know is that these systems are either automated systems that have been created either by our Z lab or they have been created by our onboard experts who have a great deal of experience and expertise in betting on all these various sports. Let's take for example the system that was created by our expert Andre. And under the system alone, you'll find many profitable subtrends as well. But like I mentioned earlier, you don't need to know the details of either the system trends or the sport itself because not only does the app calculate all the stats and probabilities for you, it also gives you the exact picks you need to place to win along with the precise stake size for each bet. And to make things even easier for you when it comes down to selecting and fine-tuning the trends for your portfolio, SportsTrader 2.0 has this new feature called the Advanced Trend Selection Mode, which is my personal favorite, but we'll take a more detailed look into it in the next tutorial that covers all the advanced features within SportsTrader. Now when it comes down to the system results, our SportsTrader software is fully transparent, so you can see the past performance of your chosen systems and trends over here. Right next to each system you'll notice the small gear symbol and clicking it will give you detailed information about that particular system. So let's take a deeper look at Andre's systems here and we're going to click this gear to view further information about the system. You'll see here that you have this window that contains more options and highly detailed statistics about the system you select here. Right here at the top you have the name of the system along with its corresponding trends right below that, all of them listed here. And notice that it says active signals here. Right next to that is this option which says select trends to follow. So if you click this option, you'll get this drop down with a complete list of all the trends that fall under this particular system. And by default, when you select a system, you will be following all the trends under it. But if you wish to be more selective, you could say, for example, uncheck some of these trends if it doesn't interest you. Okay? And you will only receive information for those specific trends. For now, I'd like to follow all of these trends. So let's go back up here and I'm going to click Select All to reselect all of them. Now, right below the trend list drop down is this section where you'll find a table of all the trend signals available for today from this entire system. So what's important here is the group column that shows the name of the trend that generated the signal and more importantly the recommended team or player you must place your bet on seen here in bold. Then you have the bet on column which shows the bet type whether it's to be placed on the money line or the spread line or it could even be totals over or under then the expected odds for that bet now these are the odds that showed up at the moment when the signal was generated but depending on how soon you place your bet you will most likely find that these odd prices may have changed at your bookie it's not always critical so don't be surprised or worried if you do not see the very same odds at your bookie by the time you place your bets then you have the unit and the stake size that's to be placed and if you notice here to the right it says my unit size is 100 so when you see a signal with the unit as 1 right, it's to be understood that you'll be placing $100 on that bet 
And then finally, the game column that shows you the name and other details about the match or the game that you're supposed to place your bet on. So like this, you'll have a whole bunch of signals that will be generated for you for the day. And even if you do not see the, these many, don't worry. It's quite likely that it could be early in the day and the system hasn't yet generated all of its selections for today yet. So like this comment mentions, right? we might have more signals today, so check back later. All right, moving on. Let's scroll down further till we get down to this trends list statistics section right here. Now this is where you'll find the stats table that displays highly detailed statistics about all the trends under the system. And right above that table are these filters and drop downs that you can use to focus on say a particular sport or all of them. Or say your example if you want to have only the currently active trends or the most profitable and stable ones. Okay, for now I'm going to allow all of these sports and I want to take a look at all the trends which are available, not just the active ones. Profit time over here is the period over which the profit figure is calculated and you'll see you have quite a few options over which the system's profitability is measured such as over the last three active months, the last three months since the beginning, that's from the inception of the system or you could also restrict yourself to only the season start or you can select a specific year over the past decade but by default usually it's based on live signals which means ever since the system went live uh, we will only consider the signals that were generated when it was forward tested on the live market then you have the profit method which will sort the list of trends based on four main parameters or criteria such as the top profit, the best ROI which is the return on investment, your best profit chart or the best trust factor and each of these are related to the statistical columns that you have listed over here. By default you have the top profit which is quite self-explanatory really it just shows you the total profit generated by this specific system over the profit time period that we chose here. By the way, if you haven't yet noticed, you'll see that these very same filters and sort options are also present in the trend selector here to the left. And finally, you have the MM type. Now, MM stands for money management, and there are basically two types here that you should know about. Flat is the simplest one wherein every bet is placed with the same constant stake unit size that you have chosen or whatever was recommended by the portfolio advisor. In comparison, progression means that the stakes are progressively increased depending on any losses that you might incur along the way. For example, one of the most common progression types is called the ABC progression where A, B, and C are increasing multipliers that you will apply to your stake size so that you can try to recover from losses that you might experience. So let's imagine A, B, C is set to the values 1, 2, 3, just to illustrate the concept. And let's say our unit stake size is $100. So when you start at first, you will place your bet with the stake that's calculated as A, multiplied by your unit size. Since A is 1 and the unit size is $100, your first A stake size is 100. If you bet $100 on the pick and you win, then that's great. Then you can collect your profit and you don't have to inc increase your stake. But let's just say that you lose that first bet, in which the next bet should be placed with the multiplier B. Now remember, we're going with the 1, 2, 3 progression here. So the second B value is 2. And when you multiply that with the unit size, that's 2 times 100, it means that you must stake $200 on your next bet. If you win, that's great again. And then you can reset the progression and go back to $100. But if you lose even the second bet, then you move on to the final C value, which is 3 now. So the next bet you place should be 3 times 100, that's $300. And when you win this bet, that's amazing because you'll have recovered some of your losses from this last larger win. And in any case, whether you win or lose by the third time, you must reset the counter and go back to A. So this is the progression approach 
which is a very common tactic in sports betting and even in trading and it is also known as loss recovery progressive staking but this money management method also requires you to have a larger bankroll and also you would want to ensure that you have a system that has a low number of consecutive losses now when you compare flat stakes versus progressive staking flat stakes tend to show a more accurate picture of how well the system can perform without any recovery tactics but for now I'm just gonna leave this at all so that we can consider both MM methods now let's take a closer look at the trends stats table we have here the trend name which gives you the name of the trend along with its performance graph now you'll notice here that most of these graphs show a blue line at the start followed by a green line so the blue section indicates the back tested part of the trends results and the green line shows the forward test performance of the trend that's after its back testing period was completed it went live and it's been generating real life signals for our members to follow it's always a good idea to have trends that show an upward profitable slope overall with a balance of a strong performance during its blue backtested phase along with a good live performance shown by the green section a good system should always show good results even after its backtesting phase in fact one of the ways by which you can spot a highly curve fitted system is if the green line starts to drop over time especially right after the backtesting phase what this means is that the system has been fine-tuned so tightly based on historical data which is evident from the blue line but once it goes live the forward testing results aren't great because the trend doesn't do well in a live scenario what this also implies is that the trend has not been designed or modeled correctly that is it hasn't accurately modeled or taken into consideration the underlying factors or conditions that could lead to profits for this particular sport but this one overall has a very good upward slope and it's got a good balance between back testing results and its forward testing results anyways that's just a little bit of technical analysis theory for y'all so coming back to the stats table the next column shows all the details pertaining to this trend all these trends here now um, right at the top over here is actually the summary which is it shows the accumulation of results from all the trends under this particular system so you have when is the last time that the trend was updated that was in terms of when it was created the last signal from any of these trends the win rate then the record which shows you the number of wins versus the number of losses and how many draws then how many of these trends are flat trends versus 31 progression systems okay so and then below that you have each of the individual trends listed for you along with details for each of those trends All right, and then in the next column you have the ROI percentage or return on investment ROI is a value that tells you how profitable or efficient the system's profitability is in comparison to the cost of investment this is a standard and rather popular measure used for investments so most of you might already know this it basically gives you a theoretical figure of how much you could expect in return for investing a certain amount on this particular trend and next you have the average deviation percentage this statistic measures the irregularities in the system's performance compared to its expected projections and as such it is directly related to the smoothness of the system's performance graph the higher the value the more irregularities and bumps you'll find in the system graph and vice versa the lower the value the better the system's performance and in turn the smoother the graph which is of course more desirable next you have the trust percentage which is also known as the trust factor and it is a custom statistic that we developed here at Zcode to help us measure the realistic effectiveness of a system when forward tested in the real world in comparison to its back tested results over historical data now the closer a system's forward test results matches its back tests the more we can trust such a system however that doesn't necessarily mean it'll have the highest profit return this value merely indicates how trustworthy the system's underlying model can be and whether it conforms with the results expected based on its prior back tests 
And of course, this last column shows the actual profit figures generated during the time period that you've selected over here, which is usually set to live signals by default. So as you can see here, all right, these are the profit figures under the profit column. And you can achieve these same profit figures, assuming that you're trading at $100 per unit, because that's the stake size that we normally use on our own accounts as well. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the stats table, let's scroll down further and you'll see these trend performance graphs right below, such as the net profit graph, the previous seasons graph, the current season, and of course, all these various other graphs as well. There are further tables with even more detailed statistics listed below all these graphs. Our Z code systems are a gold mine of statistics and figures. So if you're a stats junkie, then you're totally going to love these tables of statistics that we've laid out for you. As you can see, there's a mind boggling amount of data available to you for each and every system that you would like to look into. And we'd encourage you to produce these stats when you get the time. But even if you don't, you can still profit from all these systems by simply following the generated signals with the help of Sportsphere. All right, so that was a detailed look into the systems pages. Now, before we go further, what I like to do is to modify this portfolio a little further and uh, probably add a few more systems just to round it out a bit. Uh, Cedric systems, we have Tan systems, uh, Ruben systems are already selected here. Let's try Olivier systems too. I'm just adding uh, more systems to our portfolio so that we'll have more trends available as well. Now let's take a deeper look into the trend selector section right here. You'll notice that we have the same filters and selection options that we saw earlier on the systems page. So you have active only, which is a filter you would definitely want to apply initially because when you're starting off with sports trader, you would want to focus only on the active trends that are available for the sports that are currently in season. As the year goes by, many of the sports will go off season, in which case the corresponding systems and trends will become inactive and you wouldn't want to waste your time on those unless you're an advanced user and you'd like to analyze such trends in detail even during your off season periods. And of course, you'd also want to focus on the most profitable and stable trends, mainly. You could even combine the two conditions to be highly selective if you wish. We'll leave these options up to you because what you choose to go with will depend on what your personal betting style is, as well as your risk appetite. Here now we have the system type, which is the same as the money management types we saw earlier. You have all systems, only flat systems, only progression. So I'm leaving that at all. And then of course the profit time, which by default is set to based on life settings. You'll notice you have the very same options that you had inside of the systems page. And of course the sort method. Now by default this is usually set to sort these trends in descending order of the best profits generated. Most people would prefer sorting by profit, uh, but personally speaking I prefer to use either the best ROI or the best profit chart. Sorting by the best profit chart makes it easy and convenient to visually spot the better performing trends. And remember what I mentioned earlier, you also want to choose trends that have a decent back test result as well as good forward testing profits. So just by eyeballing these charts, let's select a few more to add to our portfolio. Okay. All right, Olivier systems. Now, you notice in this system here, this this has a really nice backtested section, but it's only just started to deliver live signals and it's only recently been forward tested. So it's going to take some time before this trend can prove itself. So let's move on to a few others and see what else we have. Now you notice here how this system has this back-tested section which looks really nice and um, with some of these systems you'll notice that for a while it, it tends to be profitable uh, during the forward testing phase but then it's, it slides to dip. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bad trend it just simply means that this particular period might be a negative period right now. For the timing we'll just skip that. Okay I think uh, we have enough of trends selected here. 
And of course, once you're done adding any new trends to your portfolio, please don't forget to save your portfolio here at the top. And once I'm done saving, you'll notice over here on the right, we have this systems chart that shows uh, the overall performance of all of these trends combined. And this is over the past three years, which is not bad at all if you take a look at this. You can also fine tune your selection of trends even further by using the advanced trend selection mode here. But like I said, we're going to explain this feature in detail in the next tutorial. By the way, besides all the system and trend options available to you here, you can even develop your own systems if you're so inclined. You can create and develop your own systems and trends with the Trend Performance Builder, which you will find inside the ZLab tab here at the top. And you can even backtest your own systems using our proprietary tool called Zcode Almanac. If you're an expert in sports betting and if you're the type who likes to create and experiment with your own betting systems, then you'll be glad to know that all these features and upgrades are included along with your purchase of Sports Trader. And all of them are available to you within the ZLab tab right here. Now, one thing that we must mention is how important money management is when it comes down to sports betting. What you must always keep in mind is that even if you're looking for quick profits in the short term, you must never risk your funds in such a way that you wipe out your entire bankroll. You might do this if you were to get greedy during a winning streak and then increase your stake size just before a losing run. So to avoid overbetting your account, we always recommend that you start with only 1-2% to of your total bankroll. For example, if you have a bankroll of $1,000, then 1% of that would be $10 only. This means your unit stake should be only $10. The larger your bankroll, the larger your initial stake size can be, but even if you don't have larger amounts like $3,000 to $5,000 or above to start with, no worries. We have this nifty little bankroll calculator here towards the bottom left which was designed specifically for your money management needs. So this calculator will help you to select the best unit size based on your available bank size, considering all the systems and trends you've selected. And as you may have noticed earlier, this little tool is also present inside the Portfolio Advisor, and in fact, it works in tandem with it. So let's try out the stake calculator. You'll notice these two options here, unit size and bankroll. What this means is that you can edit either one of these values and the other value will be calculated for you automatically. So I'm going to select unit size and then you'll notice this little notepad icon here which is brighter compared to the bankrolls notepad which means that I can edit the unit size here. So let's click that and edit the value. For this particular combination of systems I don't mind using a unit size of $10. Okay, and when I click that, you'll notice how the bankroll has been calculated, the expected bankroll, for you to be able to handle all of these different trends within the portfolio. Now, there may be times when this amount may seem huge to you, so if you're starting off with a much lower bankroll, that's not a problem either. Simply choose the bankroll option instead, and then click here to edit the bank size. And let's say, for example, I have only $500 to start with. So once you do that, your unit size will be recalculated automatically. And most picks will require only one unit per bet. But there will be times when you might have to place two or three units per bet or sometimes even more. So all of that will be calculated and recommended to you by SportsRoom. So worry not, the money management aspect is taken care of as well. Okay, so now let's take a look at these performance graphs here. This graph on the left shows the profits from all of our Z code systems and trends combined. So all 250 plus systems along with 5000 plus trends, all of that combined, whereas depending on your system selections within your portfolio, the profit graph on the right will update itself to show you the combined past performance of all your selected systems. Now for the sake of comparison, this first graph on the left shows you what you could have earned if you followed all the available systems and trends that Zcode has to offer you. If you'd like to take a look at shorter term profits, 
Click any of these time frame buttons here to change the time period over which the profits are calculated. So over the past year alone, somewhere around 1.685 million. These are huge profits that cannot be ignored. And they can be yours if you can follow our sports trader selections dedicatedly. All right, so far we've seen how to manually create and expand your own portfolio and how to set your notification settings as well. Also how to fine tune your portfolio and add more systems and trends along the way. So now that all that's taken care of, the only thing left for you to do is to check the active signals for the day. Now before we take a look at the actual signals themselves, I want to point out that there will be times when you will notice various game updates in this section right below the graphs. And that's where upcoming matches will be displayed. So it's a good habit to take a glance at these games and matches at the start of the day so that you can mentally prepare yourself to place your bets a few hours before the start of those games. We all know the closer you get to the start of a game, the more volatility you will see in the odds prices moving around. So it's best you get in early as soon as you receive a new signal from SportsTrader. Now, the most important part of the signal section is this active signals tab and the past signals of course. The active tab is where you'll find the latest picks or signals that have been generated for today from all the chosen system trends that you're following in this portfolio. Whereas under the past signals, here you can see all the past results of your portfolio as well and where these pick selections had won or lost. You'll notice those results over here on the left. All right, so coming back to active signals. Each signal tells me not only the name of the trend but also the team to bet on, which you'll see here, which is very similar to what we saw on the systems page as well. And then of course you have the bet type, whether you have to bet on the money line or spread line, etc. And then the expected odds, the unit size, and this is the actual value of the stake that you must place on this bet based on this stake size that you saw here, okay, which was calculated for you by the bankroll calculator. So let's say for example, I don't mind using a unit size of $10. Let's go back to 10. And as soon as you do that, your bet size, your stake sizes will be recalculated and shown over here as well. Yeah, so then besides the unit size, you also have the details of the game, when exactly the game is supposed to start, uh, which teams are in that particular game or match. So whenever you find a new signal within the active tab, simply follow the pick selection and place your bet on the recommended team at your favorite bookie. And of course, whenever a new signal is generated, you will receive an alert within SportsReader itself or directly to your cell phone if you've configured your mobile settings correctly. All you need to do is to check for active signals an hour or two before the start of the games. So right now, you can see that we have these four active signals from all of the trends that we selected, which you can place at any of our recommended bookies like Bet365, Five Dimes, or One X Bet. For example, let's take a look at the selection from this trend. Okay, what we're going to be looking for is this match uh, from this particular soccer league. And the team that we have to bet on will be Kuktosh, if that's how it's pronounced. And what we're looking for is for to place a bet on the spread line, that's plus 1.5, with an expected odd of around 1.53. Okay. Let's take a look at how that would look in bet365.com. And uh, what I'm going to do is go into soccer. What I'm looking for is, here we are, Tajikistan Vaishaya Liga, which is what we saw. That's what's it's recommended by SportsRear. And, of course, we're going to be placing our bet on the first team. Over here, take a look and see. It says you have to bet on the point spread and that's what we will do uh, but in most cases usually when you land up on the main page you will usually be presented with the money line so this is having to place your money line bet on the first team this is in case of a draw and this is in case of the second team all right so if you want to see more advanced bet types you just go ahead and click here on the side and you'll be presented with all the various bet types that you could place your bet on Alright, so let's look for this particular bet on 1xbet. You'll notice right here 
right on the main page itself they already have this championship listed okay and we're interested in betting on Kuktosh so let's click that and it'll present you with an entire list or table of all the various bet types that you can have uh, for this game or match and what we're interested in is handicaps which is the same thing as the spread line so we want plus 1.5 on Kuktosh right now it looks like the match is already in place so we can't place this particular bet right now uh, but you get the idea what you have to do is just identify the bet that's recommended by sports trader and once you place that bet click I placed it that particular checkbox now of course because this game this match just got over it got transferred from the active signals to the pass signals tab so if you notice over here this is the bet that we were trying to place. All right, so let's take a look and see if we can find this one. Uh, we have Ruben System Trends, which is on table tennis, okay? And that's between Oleg and Vitali. So let's try this on bet365. Let's go to table tennis. So here we have that very same match. And over here it says simply place your bet on the money line and it has to be on Oleg. Oleg is the recommended player in this particular match with an expected odd of 1.625 and that's with $10. So switch back here and click on that. All you have to do is type in the stake that was recommended to you and then place your bet. Right now, I'm not going to place this bet immediately. I'm just showing, demonstrating how you can find that particular bet. And this is on the money line. The other lines that you have, if you notice, you have the handicap lines, plus 1.5, minus 1.5. You have totals over and under. And of course, the simple money lines here. All right, so and then once I'm done with placing this bet at the bookie, I'm just going to switch back here to Sportsphere and click this checkbox which says I place it so that I can keep track of the bets I've placed already and check in on their status later under the pass signals. Of course no system is a crystal ball and you might lose some bets and experience drawdowns along the way as well but you have to remind yourself that you're in this for the long haul. Remember this is about sports investing so don't get disheartened even if you have a few losing bets. And one of the biggest mistakes you can make is to jump from one system to another hoping to chase only the wins and avoid losses. Now that's a major rookie mistake so avoid that temptation. Once you've chosen and created a balanced portfolio just stick to it. If you follow sports traders pick recommendations consistently at the end of the day you will see solid results and your personal bankroll should grow similarly to what our profit charts show. This approach works well for hundreds of our Z-Code members and we are confident it will help you to grow your bankroll and become a successful sports investor too. So that's about it for this tutorial. In the next video tutorial we will cover more of the advanced features in Sportsphere. We'll take a deeper look at the portfolio advisor and analyzer and even the advanced trend selection mode in detail. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.